All right, so here I have a modded 3DS, as you can see, and uh, I will be showing you guys today how to backup your 3DS without losing anything once you have to restore, I guess, if that ever happens. So what you're going to do, first of all, is power off your Nintendo 3DS. There we go. Then you're going to take out the SD card. So I need a screwdriver because I have a new 3DS XL, which has the screws in the back here. So let me just go get that. Take this off. And here we have the SD card. So we're gonna just take that out, plug it into the PC. There we go. And now, first thing we're gonna do is create a folder on the PC folder and just call it, uh, what do you call this? 3DS Backup SD Card. There we go, call it that. Gonna just open that, then you can go into your SD card from the 3DS and take all of these files and transfer them over to this folder that you just made. Right there, 3DS Backup SD Card. And just give this a second. And this basically just backs up your SD card. So uh, nothing more than that. But uh, this isn't going to save you from bricks or anything like that. It just saves you in case of SD card corruption. So I will also show you, of course, how to back up NAND. And uh, I'll also make a video on how to restore your SD uh, or your 3DS in case of a break or in case your SD card breaks or something like that. But that's a different video. This is just backing up. So there we go. Now you have a backup of your SD card. That is really important. That's probably the most important thing because breaks don't happen that often, but uh, you should be prepared. You should be prepared. So now what you're gonna do is take out the SD card safely out of your PC here. If it just allows me, eject, then take it out. And you're going to plug it back into your PC. Then I'm gonna just put on this cover again. And then what you're going to do is press start and hold it and then power on your 3DS, which will lead you to God Mode 9. Just press yes. Go through all of this, then you can just turn up your screen brightness and then you're going to press home, go down to script, then GM9 mega script, and then backup options, and then sysnand backup. Just press A on that. And then you just need to make sure that you have enough storage on your SD card. You need at least 1.3 gigabytes free. So just going to press yes once you know that you have that. And by the way, if you did not see um, GM9 Megascript or any backup options in this part that I just showed you, then that means that you have an old God Mode 9 version or a Luma version. So just update and I have a tutorial on my channel on how to do both of them. So uh, yeah, once you've done that, you can continue. And this will make the backup. So just wait for this, this will Take some time. Let's see here how long this will take. It does take some time. Let's see. What will it take realistically? Yes, yeah, seven minutes. That's what it says. So it will take some time here. And, uh, yeah. And if you don't have a big enough SD card, I guess, what you can do is just take or get a bigger SD card, which can hold all of your files. And uh, you can just open the 3DS backup SD card folder and take all of these files onto the bigger SD card. And then you can restart the God Mode 9 part. Um, yeah, if, if you don't have enough storage for a uh, SysNand backup should probably add this to my modding tutorials, really, because to do this separately, I don't know. People should do this always, really. 
but I just mod so many 3DSs that it's not worth it to keep track of every single one. And I have sold like 400 3DSs or something. And I've never had someone come to me and complain that uh, it got bricked or something like that. Never, not a single time. So I don't really need to have NAND backups. Like imagine if I would have kept a NAND backup for every single 3DS that I have sold. Like if I've sold 400 3DSs, and one a backup is one gigabyte. I would have used like 400 gigabytes on my PC. So uh, yeah, definitely not worth it to keep track of all SysNand, SysNand backups. So yeah, I mean, let's just wait for this. Take a sip of the monster and uh, once this is done I'll be back and boom backup created successfully just gonna press a here and then just press b b and b then just power off your 3ds you can press home power off system boom and then take out the SD card out of your 3ds here plug it into your PC File Explorer, SD card, and then you can go into GM9 and then out. And these are your SysNAND or, or your backup, let's call it that, NAND backup. And then right under this folder, you can just make a new folder. 3DS NAND back. That's what I would call it. And you take all of these files and transfer them over to the 3DS NAND backup. Now this will take a second here. Damn, what a bubbly monster. Really good monster. My favorite one. My favorite one. Really summer taste in it. Really good. Really, really good. Uh, so let's wait for this then. Doesn't take too long. I have a pretty fast SD card too. So this goes pretty smoothly. And uh, yeah. I would maybe recommend to also have... Uh, both of these folders like saved on a USB stick or something like that. But uh, yeah, just so you have like multiple backups of these because what what if something happens to your PC, right? But um, yeah, that's really how you do that. Now you have backups and now you can just delete all of these from your 3DS because you don't need those anymore. And um, now if you're wondering how to, you should really bookmark the video, which will come up right now. This is how you restore from the backups you just made. So just click on that video, save that video uh, to watch later or whatever in case something happens. You can just follow it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.